Hi everyone, it's Darlene. Welcome back to my first card for the October challenge, which is flowers. I got this new stamp by Indigo Blue. It's called Dahlia, and they had several flower stamps that were similar to this. I thought were really pretty. And then I have this sentiments and quotes uh, set by Altenew, which has a lot of different sentiments in it. So I'm gonna be using that. First, I'm gonna stamp my flower onto some Nina Solar White cardstock with some Memento Tuxedo Black ink. I'm gonna go straight into the coloring. I have four different colors of blue Copic markers. And I'm starting with my darkest color, the B26. I'm doing a petal that's in the back. So uh, it's gonna have some shadow area around the petal that's in front of it. So I start at the base of the petal and I work my way up a little bit with this darkest color. And then I'm working around the petals that are on top of it because those would create a shadow. So that's my B26. Now I'm gonna move in with the B05. Now I wouldn't say these are the perfect combination of blues, but it's what I had on hand, so it's what I'm using. And what I'm doing here is I'm just coloring uh, over the line at the edge of the B26 and pulling it out just a little bit further with this B05. I like to be really methodical about coloring my uh, flowers, so I do one petal at a time and I do them all the exact same way. So now I'm moving on to my third color, the B02, and doing the same thing, just sort of blending that out a little bit. I'm not too worried about the edge because I'm gonna be trimming this off with my trimmer. So now with the B02, I'm kind of flicking outward a little bit more, so sort of feathering it out toward the edge of the petal. Um, and I ended up going back and adding a little bit more blue because my B000, you'll see when I start coloring with that, it's a very, very light color, like it's, almost clear um, and I flipped it over because my thought was that I was going to flick it upward to blend in with the B02 but it was so light that I just kind of just kept coloring and coloring and I blended that in as best I could with the B02 and I like it because the B000 kind of forces me to have less color on the petals and that gives it a little bit more of a realistic feel because it's got some reflection in it. So once I get all of this B000 filled in with the rest, um, I'm gonna flip this back over and then I'm gonna add some of that B02 back to it because I just felt like it was a little bit too light. So here I'm just still working on this B00. All right, here's the B02. So I'm just gonna add in a little bit more blue color. Next, I'm gonna work on a petal that's in the front, and I'm gonna use the same colors, uh, all four of them, B26 first, work my way out a little bit more with the B05, then work a little bit more out with the B02, and then again with the B000. And so I'm, that is going to be the method I'm using for the back flowers and the front flowers. So it actually took me probably 20 minutes, I wanna say, in real time to color this entire flower. I did all the back petals first, and then I moved into the center uh, for those middle petals, but I did them all exactly the same way um, with these four colors. Now I'm gonna go back in after I'm done with these four colors and add a fifth color. Um, and so I'm gonna go ahead and turn up the music and you can watch me color with these four and then I'll come back when I go to add the fifth color.
All right, now I'm ready to add this fifth color. Now, I just added this in simply because I had it. <laughs> so I thought, why not use it? It's B39, it's an extremely dark color. Um, it's an original uh, Copic marker, so it's not a sketch marker. I really don't like these markers because they don't have the brush tip that you can flick upward. So um, it's a really stiff tip. I know I can buy the other tip and I probably will eventually if I get around to it, but I'm just gonna go around the very, very darkest area. I'm just adding a little bit of this color. And actually, as I started working with it, I started adding a little bit more. This is just gonna give it just that little extra pop. So uh, I'm not just gonna leave the B39, I'm gonna have to blend it out with all these colors. So it does add a little extra time. I think it took me maybe six minutes to go around the whole entire flower in real time to, to add this color and blend it out with the rest of the colors. Um, but I think it really did make it pop just a little bit more. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn up the music and I'll be back It'll in about less than a minute. All right, I'm done with the coloring. Um, I really like the way it turned out. I decided to add a little bit more highlight with a white gel pen. So um, I'm gonna color from the tips inward. And you need to do this a little bit slower. You can see I'm kind of doing it fast. I also have it in a little bit fast motion here. But if you work it slow, it comes out. If you work it too fast, this pen, the ink doesn't come out. So I ended up working it a little slower, but I'm drawing maybe like four or five different lines, depends on the petal, um, down the center and into the, the base of the petal. And this is just adding that extra little highlight pop. Now, because this is a broad tip pen, my lines, my white lines are pretty thick, but it's not a big deal because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back over these lines, these white lines, with a Copic marker and that is going to give me yet another shade of blue and I've done that before on a different card. Um, so it just sort of colors the white into a lighter blue so it's still a highlight but it's not quite so white. All right, done with the white gel pen and so I'm gonna get the B02 which was my second lightest marker and I'm just going to kind of carefully color over, over some of these white lines. Not all of them, just a few. Maybe some of the ones that were a little bit thicker than others that look a little strange, maybe going over the black lines. Um, so it just doesn't look so stark and it doesn't look like I took a white pen and colored it. So um, when I color over the white, it's just gonna give me a really pretty light blue color. All right, now my coloring for sure is totally finished with this flower. And I'm gonna trim this out with a trimmer and uh, I'm gonna mat it to a piece of black cardstock. And this has just got about an eighth of an inch on all sides. And I was gonna mat this to a white card, but decided it was just too much contrast with the white and the black and um, the blue being so bright. So I took a piece of fog cardstock and I matted it to that. And this really muted the card down a little bit and made it um, it just blended it a little bit better. It wasn't so stark. And uh, this is a great way to add a neutral color um, when you have too much contrast on your card. So I went ahead and stamped my sentiment with some VersaFine Black Onyx ink, and then I matted this to uh, an A2 card, Nina Solar White, and this has an eighth of an inch mat on all sides. And that is the card. So I hope you enjoyed that. It, even though it took a lot of time to color, it wasn't hard to color. So um, I really liked this flower. There are a few others that are just like it if you want to check it out at Simon Says Stamp. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.